my hello my dear friends welcome back to the channel this is the new series related to OFTM concepts so in this series I want to talk about uh, various basic concepts and then uh, I want to talk about uh, some of the key concepts related to OFTM and later uh, I will come to the advanced topics like channel estimation and equalization and stuff okay so I want to talk from design perspective so that uh, it is very interesting uh, all right so when the design was thought of from 1G, 2G, 3G, what was the major goal? The main parameter considered was data rate, right? So this was the goal too. The goal was to increase uh, the data rate. But what is data rate? Data rate is nothing but bits transmitted per second. So it is well known that if you increase the bandwidth, we can uh, uh, increase the data rate. So from generation to generations, the bandwidth was increased. Let's say in 1G, I will consider the bandwidth is 1 kilohertz. So, so the symbol duration is 1 millisecond. What does this mean? So for a duration of 1 millisecond, one symbol is transmitted over the air. And let's say that carries one bit of information. Like that, how many such symbols can be transmitted in one second? So if we keep on stacking uh, 1 millisecond worth of uh, uh, symbol then you know you can stack up to thousand symbols and each symbol carrying one bit so your data rate uh, uh, will become thousand bits per second clear so now if, if i consider uh, the bandwidth uh, of 100 kilohertz in 2g then symbol duration is 10 microsecond and your data rate will become 100 kbps so from 1 kbps so it is achieved around 100 kbps so these values are just examples uh, to show the concept all right so clearly if you see that if you, you when you have increased the bandwidth you can pack more and more symbols in in one one second and you are able to get uh, the better data rate so similarly 3g 1 megahertz uh, we were able to get data rate of 1 mbps let's start off to increase the bandwidth for a 4g system so let's say uh, 10 megahertz in this case uh, symbol duration is 0 0.1 microseconds and we will get a good uh, uh data rate which is 10x compared to 3g okay but there was a problem there was a huge challenge so let us see what is it so whatever we wanted to transmit uh, we wanted to transmit in the wireless channel right so in wireless channel when a bandwidth uh, of 10 megahertz is considered okay uh, this uh, uh, wide bandwidth expectation was the channel response frequency response uh, to be flat like this okay so that is when we call it as flat fading channel if the channel was like this then it would have been easy mm, to design the system but what was observed it was observed that the channel was not flat it had got a lot of uh, uh, bad uh, channel conditions for the entire 10 megahertz bandwidth the reason was there was a severe intersymbol interference. Let us see how this severe in intersymbol interference uh, uh, is happening. So, for that, consider the transmitter and receiver in the wireless channel. We will have multipath, right? Whenever we have multipath, each path will undergo a different attenuation, different phase, and there will be different delay. So, the main point here, point to be considered, is the delay. So let's say first component is coming at tau zero, the last component is coming at this point. So if you take the difference, we get tau l. This tau l in wireless we call it as a delay spread. Typically, it is of the order of two microseconds. Okay. Now consider 4G. Okay. So we had considered 10 megahertz and the symbol duration is 0.1 microseconds, which means for a 0.1 microseconds symbol x1 is transmitted then in another 0.1 microseconds x2 is transmitted like that it goes on right now this is the first path okay in the last path lth path the symbol will be delayed by 2 microseconds and you will receive the first symbol at this point so at this point if you see the receiver is also receiving 20th symbol right so again if you clearly see you know the 20th symbol is interfering with uh, uh, the first symbol 
now this is this again this this x2 right this is the uh, symbol from the last path but from the previous path from different paths this x2 is still still transmitted in 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 these uh, uh, durations right even this x1 is also transmitted in these durations even x3 also from the uh, second part third part uh, uh, th there was a symbol here x3 which means that at this point at the 20th symbol if you consider even there was x2 even there was x3 here so like that all the previous symbols before x2 okay all these symbols were there when uh, were received when 20th symbol is uh, received at the receiver what does it mean so at the 20th symbol there was an interference from all the previous 20 symbols okay because the delay spread here is 2 microsecond and uh, this is corresponding to the duration of 20 symbols so all the previous 20 symbols uh, um, interference is happening at the uh, 20th symbol so there is a severe isi here I hope it is very clear when the bandwidth is increased because of multipath components there is a delay spread of 2 microsecond and uh, uh, and because of which there is a huge intersymbol interference but let us consider 2g okay see in case of 2g the bandwidth is 100 kilohertz symbol duration is 10 microseconds okay so this is first symbol 10 microseconds this is second symbol now this first symbol is delayed by 2 microsecond in the last one and you see that it is coming like this so definitely at symbol x2 what is the overlap only a small portion of overlap is there which is uh, worth of you know 2 microseconds so this much interference is very small and this can be easily eliminated by designing uh, the good pulse shaping and match filters okay so even this two filters are used to eliminate the isi uh, for few symbols but definitely it is very difficult to design such uh, filters when there is a interference from more number of symbols as we had seen in 4g okay so definitely 4g needed a different kind of a strategy in order to overcome this uh, severe isi we will see the different strategy in the upcoming video um, so please do subscribe, have a great day, stay tuned.